this channel. Do you know what is erosion corrosion? Let's watch this video. Erosion. Erosion is a removal of material from the surface by the action of solid or liquid particles. It occurs due to a high velocity of solid or liquid particles, abrupt change in the fluid flow, and also the large amount of energy solid or liquid particles. Corrosion is a destruction or deterioration of a material by its environment. It occurs due to chemical or electrochemical action. It is a reverse process of extraction. In extraction method, it is extracted from ore mostly oxide. For example, iron oxide. In corrosion, iron is converted to oxide. What is erosion corrosion? First, a slit or increase in the rate of deterioration on a metal because of relative move movement between corrosive fluid and metal surface. Second, relative movement is quite rapid, so mechanical wear effects are involved. Third, metal is removed from the surface either in the form of solid corrosion products or in the form of dissolved iron. Fourth, remember the distinction between erosion corrosion and erosion. Erosion is the straightforward wearing away by the mechanical abrasion caused by suspended particles such as sand blasting, erosion of turbine blades by droplets. Erosion corrosion also involves a corrosive environment. The metal undergoes a chemical reaction. I would like to tell you about the mechanism behind erosion corrosion. It is believed to happen due to these four factors. First, turbulent liquid flow, then impact of suspended solid particles, then um, liquid droplets in gas flow and impact of gas bubbles in aqueous flow. First, for turbulent flow, it is considered as one of the major causes behind erosion corrosion. Example, in, in a water pipe, liquid flow such as water will create a corrosion layer onto the metal. Then, particles inside the water will scrape the corrosion layer, thus create a small hole that will cause an agitation of the liquid at the metal surface. Then the liquid agitation, then the liquid agitation results in more scraping of the layer and create more contact between metal and the environment, which is water. Impact of suspended solid particles. This type of this type of erosion happens due to the impact of the solid particles falls onto the object surface, which is fluid passing, passing through. The principle of this is the same as what happened in turbulent flow, which is the fluid will create a corrosion layer, then the solid particles will erode the metal and cause damage based on how the particles hit the metal surface. Next, liquid droplets in gas flow. Limited impact by droplets also can cause erosion corrosion due to exposure of solid. It is a major problem for low pressure turbines and range erosion of aircraft. At the right corner, here is the image of impingement, like intrusion into an area or affecting something else. Then, the next figure shows the area that mostly affected by range erosion of aircraft. Last but not least of erosion corrosion mechanism. Here is the impact of gas bubbles in aqueous flow. For this type of erosion, it happens when the object is damaged by air bubbles in the flow. It is not much different from the liquid droplets in gas flow erosion corrosion. For example, erosion corrosion of copper alloy heat is changing, and nitrogen bubbles can also do the same damage. Example of the erosion corrosion that occur, occur in our daily life. Figure 1 is a view of a part of insured piping installation, copper piping delivered, hot water, the multi zone heating system using circulating pumps moderated by zone control bump. Figure 2 shows a typical leak in the insured or yes, old piping system, the red arrow points to pinhole in the pipe wall.
Notice the crush pipe wall which is much thinner than normal blue arrow. Example of erosion corrosion. Many metal and alloys susceptible to erosion corrosion. Example aluminium, lead, stainless, carbon steel. All types of equipment exposed to fluid are susceptible to this type of corrosion such as piping system, elbow, keys, valve, pumps and blower. Also centrifuges, propeller, inflator, aggregator, heat exchange tubing. Measuring device is orifice, tubing plates, ducts and all those equipment which are some way of or the other exposed to fluid. Cause of erosion question. The photo shows erosion question of a cast aluminium pump casing due to relatively high flow rate of the coolant. What cause erosion question? The mechanical effect of flow or velocity of a fluid combined with the corrosive action of the fluid cause accelerated loss of metal. The initial stage involved the mechanical removal of a metal protective film and then corrosion a bare metal by a following corrosive occur. The process cyclic in until perforation of the component occur. Erosion corrosion is usually at high flow rates around tube location tube inlet ends or in pump in place. How to prevent the erosion corrosion to take place? At the right side, we got an image of erosion or corrosion take place. For the process of erosion or corrosion take place, we already explained in previous slide. So now I'm going to discuss about to prevent the erosion corrosion to take place. First, we need to design or alternate of environment coating, cathodic protection, and also metal materials. Similar to piping to reduce the turbulence, control the flood velocity using more assistant materials using corrosion in the emitter or cathodic protection to minimize the erosion corrosion. Design involves change the shape geometry of part. Design of inlet and also outlet should be streamlined to prevent the turbulence. It also involves redesigning the flow of flood to ensure there is less turbulence. On the right side, we got an image of poor design and also better design. The poorer the design, the higher the risk of erosion conversion to take place. The better the design, the lower the erosion conversion to take place. Larger values is preferred for high velocity in order to avoid the erosion conversion. Here are the some examples of erosion conversion happen in poor design. Alteration of environment. Filling and filtration to remove the solid particles. Temperature environment should be reduced. Coating. Coating are utilized but they are not much effective. Welded, overlay, and hard facing are applied at times. Repair of attacks area is done by welding. Here are some examples of coating. For the first image, size the bitter substrate. And for the second, second sub substrate is a decline substrate which is the erosion conversion that has taken place. Eh? After the coating process has been done, they will be perform a new substrate which is the coating. So here is uh, some examples of erosion conversion, how do we prevent them? Uh, <coughs> one of the way of to, to prevent is uh, using uh, cathodic uh, protection. The cathodic protection CP is a technique used to control the corrosion of a metal surface by making, making it cathodic of an electrochemical cell. A simple method of protection connects the metal to the protected to a more easily corroded sacrificial metal to act as the inert. The sacrificial metal then corrodes instead of the protected metal. For structures such as uh, long pipelines, where passive galvanic cathodic protection is not adequate, and external DC electrical power source is used.
to provide sufficient current. Cathodic protection connects the base metal at rest to a sacrificial metal that corrodes in lieu of the base metal. The technique is of providing cathodic protection to still preserve the metal by providing a highly active metal that can act as an anode and provide free electrons. By introducing these free electrons, the active metal sacrifices its ions and keep the less active steel from corroding. The second one is a better material. Uh, when you design your product, you put a lot of money, energy and cons concentration into achieving the best possible function. Good appearance and high reliability, corrosion, wear and fatigue assistance may not be the first factor you consider. Material selection is crucial to obtain a long service life and to avoid damage such as operation failure, for instance due to inadequate mechanical strength, strength or unacceptable appearance due to corrosion product. Choose the correct material for your product from the beginning. You can prevent damage deriving from corrosion, wear and mechanical impact. In many cases, you may completely avoid corrosion by choosing a resistant material for its actual application environment. The third one is environmental measure. Corrosion is certainly something that is caused by the environment that the metal is in as the chemical reaction that takes place is due to the metal reacting to the liquid and gases in the surrounding area. Corrosion is caused by a chemical reaction between the metal and gas in the surrounding environment. By taking measures to control the environment, this unwanted reaction can be minimized. An example of this would be treating over the water in water boiler with softener to adjust hardness, alkalinity and oxygen content. Controlling the environment therefore can help to minimize this reaction. This can be as simple as reducing the exposure to rain and sea water or could be steps taken to reduce the amount of sulfur, chlorine or oxygen in the area.